Hello, hello everyone. I am back with another dumpster dive haul to share with you today. This one includes the reveal from the live dive I did last. It wasn't that much stuff, so I wanted to wait and gather a little bit more before I showed you. And I have, so I'm going to get right into the haul. And I think this is going to be my last video um, before I head to Tennessee. So I'm, I'm trying to record a few videos that I can post with throughout the next week. Um, but like I said, I will be out of town, unable to dumpster dive or film. So we're going to hope that works out. But for now, um, this is what I have found throughout the past few days. So you guys saw me find these. I have four little table covers and they're minions. They have little party hats on. Um, I don't think minions are as big as they once were, but they're still cute and that's still fun. So, um, these were $3 each, so that's $12 that I didn't have to spend. <laughs> These are the cards that I found. They are a little bit warped because it has been raining, as I'm sure it has been throughout the country, almost nonstop. <laughs> but like I said, they're not Father's Day. Some of them are. Um, this one's birthday. Let's see, what's this one? We're a lot alike, and I like that a lot. Just a random card. I know there's some thank you cards in here, which are always good. What's this one? This looks fun. I can't think of a good reason why I miss you. A thousand seems more like it. Wish you were here. That's cute. So just a pile of cards like that. I did not end up going back and getting any more in the trash had come by the time I checked again, but that's okay. Um, I got a good handful right here. Next to that, I have this dipping sauce that I grabbed with my um, fishing, uh, fishing net, like I showed you. So that's definitely helpful in getting round things like this. This is a Chicago-style dipping sauce. And I also managed to get a bacon aioli, so I can definitely do some cooking up with those. Behind that, you saw me, no, you did not see me find, but I did grab these from that pharmacy, um, a whole little pile of spicy white cheddar Doritos. I did eat one. <laughs> they're pretty good, but also pretty spicy. Um, I think it's weird that they're orange when they're white cheddar, but who knows, whatever. And then from a different store... Same uh, idea, the white cheddar tortilla chips, the organic Doritos, and we had some of those as well. Those are pretty tasty. From that same store, I did grab this um, brioche. I think I can make a few things with that before I head out. Sandwiches and stuff are always good. Sometimes I just crave it. We don't eat bread. Like, I have I haven't bought bread ever. <laughs> um, I occasionally take it when I find it. Maybe once every few months we'll have like a loaf of bread, but sometimes I do crave it. All right, this is a pressure cooker, which you guys also saw me find. Um, the cord is not cut. It plugs into the wall and to the unit separately, and they didn't cut it. I'm, I'm thinking maybe somebody wanted to come back and get it because they always, always, always cut cords. But it has, you know, the directions, the manual still wrapped up in there so I'm not sure what the deal is with this <laughs> these make me kind of nervous because I know that they can explode I'm sure it's not common but I know they can so I don't you know want to test it out and have it end up blowing up my whole kitchen but I'm going to I guess they did sharpie it up but that's well it's not coming out with my spit but it will with some cleaner I'm actually gonna pause you guys really quick and plug it in to make sure it lights up and everything. So give me just a second. All right, so I might have found the issue. I can't get this to plug in all the way. Um, this little three prong matches up with those little three prongs, but it won't, like, well, I can't do it with one hand, but it, it just feels like it needs to go in more. So I'm gonna investigate that, but for now, it might be a washout, but that's okay. Um, so that's everything I think that you saw me find. Um, and then I have some things that I managed to gather after that. Starting with this candle. It doesn't have a lid. And it's used. Um, ginger peach candle. It smells really good. I love the smell of peaches. So it has a lot of life left, obviously. I might burn that today. And then I have this cute little gray bird from this angle. He's absolutely perfect. He is broken on this side, but like I said, I'll just display him this way. And he's good to go. Then I have this little elephant set. At first, I was like, there's nothing wrong with it. And I looked at it for like a good few minutes. But then when I was taking it out, I realized its trunk was broken, which, you know, if this is painted silver, 
You really can't tell. That's fine. Then there's this flower. This, I really don't know about. It has a little charging thing on the back. And I did plug it in, and it doesn't do anything. It's supposed to light up, but it doesn't. Um, I can still use it as decoration, just a nice flower, but I don't know. Would have been nice to light up. And then I have this Easter spring decor. It has the ball with the eggs and the feathers and the pot. The pot has a little crack. That's fine. Um, still cute. So that's all with the home decor. And then at the pharmacy, I found all of this. Some popcorners. A thing of macaroni and cheese. Some Ritz cream cheese and onion crispy thins, some lemon cream shortbread cookies, a box of Triscuits, some club cracker minis, those are super cute, two things of goldfish right there, two Nutter Butters, one thing of white cheddar Cheez-Its. I just love everything that's like white cheddar. That's one of my favorite flavors. Behind that I have some more crackers. These are wheat thins and then two stoned wheat crackers right there, some spinach and garlic good thins, and then some Ritz. So a good assortment of crackers. <laughs> uh, next to that, I have a pile of the small size cheese party mix. It's like the store brand of the Chex Mix. I have some sore throat lozenges. I think one of them was taken, but the rest are in there. And then I have a pile of these Oreo Thin Bites. Those are really super tasty. I have some honey glazed almond mix right here. Three small things of Annie's macaroni and cheese, a pack of Go Go Sweet Squeeze Apple Cinnamon Applesauce, some chocolate chip cookies, and some Mediterranean apricots. Those sound tasty. Uh, that oh, did I say fruit cups? Four fruit cups. Um, that's it for the food. And then I found some more coffee. And this is funny. I don't know. I have like this irrational feeling that I'm always running out of K cups. K cups, which I'm not. I have you know, this whole mountain of everything, and then these are all filled as well. Um, I'm not running out, but I don't know. I just feel like one day I'm going to stop finding K-Cups, and then I am going to run out. However, obviously I'm not. I did find them, and my dad texted me about two weeks ago, and he was like, hey, I'm looking for some K-Cups. He uses them at work. He doesn't use them at home because my mom and dad have just a regular coffee pot, but he uses them at work, and if they don't bring their own, they have to pay for them. And so I, you know, share with him. And I haven't been able to find any, but I did. So he said he didn't want these uh, Starbucks Plus ones. So we'll keep those and maybe one of the Pike Place, and I will give him the rest. Um, I'll insert that a picture of that text after this video. It's kind of funny. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to give those to him. And that's about it. So... Uh, that's it for the haul. Today is actually the first day of summer, so happy first day of summer to everyone. I hope you are enjoying your day. We're actually having a sunny day today, which is a break from all the rain. I don't know about you guys, but I heard on the news yesterday that we have had, I think it was 116 rainy days so far this year, and there's only been 170 days in the year. And in Michigan, a lot of those have been winter, so that's surprising that we've had so much rain. It just isn't stopping, so... Uh, everything's very lush and green outside for sure. But um, as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers so I can do a super fun, awesome giveaway for you guys. And uh, I will just keep putting out dumpster diving videos. So once again, thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.